All right, I'm working on Infinity today. It's got the 3.5 liter dual overhead cam engine and it's setting a code P0021 for the intake valve timing control on bank two. Um, and bank two on this vehicle on most Infinity 3.5 liter engines is gonna be on the driver's side. So our concern today is gonna be on the driver's side. If you're setting a P0011, that is going to be bank one which is going to be on the passenger side uh, basically both these codes are the same um, the p0021 is driver side and the p0011 would be the passenger side and basically what it is telling us is this car was having um, trouble adjusting the variable valve timing at some point so usually what happens in a case like this is these it's either um, the oil quality in the um, vehicle either your oil is low or the oil has not been changed enough um, so probably the first thing you're going to want to do with this code set in your infinity is check to make sure the oil level is full and clean full and clean if you're over on your oil first thing you're going to want to do is um, go ahead and have that oil changed you know but uh, well, I just want to go ahead and go in here and show you guys the code but there's also a few other things there's a few things you can do that are pretty easy that's not going to cost you any money um, initially if this code sets in your infinity I have a, I'm gonna leave a few links in the video description to a couple other videos I have that also pertain to this variable of timing code and infinities directly so well let's go ahead and look at our code here I have the G-Scan uh, diagnostic tool hooked up to this right now. And it's coming up in here as a P0021 VTC intake side valve control system bank 2. So um, that's what we have here. I'm going to go ahead and erase this first. Just to make sure it's not going to come back. Which I'm pretty sure it's not going to. I have a, I've already done some preliminary checking here. Um, all right, so we have our code is no longer there. Um, check engine light is out on the dash. And uh, let's just go ahead and take a look under the hood here real quick and I'll show you um, how the intake valve timing is controlled on this. This is actually going to be the center cord on this side, and a solenoid is located right down here. And you can actually pull these solenoids out and clean them. And like I said, I'll leave a link in the video description below on how to pull that rail valve timing solenoid out and clean it. I just want to come back in here in the car because it's kind of hard to hear out there. Got a lot of people talking, a lot of the work going on. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, what we did on this one, I cleared the light. This car, I have no drivability issues. I was actually able to go into special functions on this scan tool and I was able to adjust the actual timing. So, I know this car has the capability of controlling the timing. That's that's not a problem. There's, no drivability concerns so in this instance basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that variable valve timing solenoid out and I'll leave a link in the description below on how to how to do that or how to clean these things um, there's a bunch of different kinds of vehicles that have these variable valve timing solenoids they all pretty much work the same way they're all prone to getting sludged up and dirty and sticking so um, first thing make sure the oil's full clean if it's not change it clear your light drive it um, if the light doesn't come back, which a lot of cases it won't, then you don't have to worry about it. If it continues to happen, we're going to pull that solenoid, we're going to pull that variable valve timing solenoid out. We're going to clean that up, we're going to reinstall it. And also while you have it out, you can do some manual testing on it as well. Um, I got another video on that where, you know, you're just going to activate it. You're going to make sure it's working physically. Um, on this particular vehicle, at 70 degrees, you should be able to ohm that actuator out at 7 ohms providing that checks out okay then you know that's okay um, but uh, yeah so we have no drivability issues here today so I'm just gonna clean it clear the light and um, 
make sure the oil's full and I believe this thing's probably going to be just fine um, as long as that solenoid test good on the bench also um, I have another video on where you can relearn you can actually relearn the timing on these which you would want to do if you're replacing any components like the uh, exhaust valve magnetic magnetic retarder which is also part of the timing control on these and it's in the same housing as that rail valve timing solenoid but basically what you're going to do when you do that relearn and I have a full video on just that it's relatively easy to do you just want to place your transmission in neutral um, with your foot on the brake with all your loads off just make sure the air conditioning is off and your headlights are off and all that stuff and then basically all you're going to do is um, bring your engine RPMs to 2000 and you gotta hold them there for I believe uh, you'll have to check the other video for sure but I believe it's um, I think it's just 20 seconds so it's not a long period of time and, but sometimes it can be tricky to uh, get it to stay there just because electronic throttle in these but you hold that there for uh, I want to say 20 seconds or so and it's going to relearn the timing control in this vehicle so I'm going to go ahead and do that on this along with everything else and then we're going to let the customer take it and I'm pretty confident that they're probably not going to be back and if they are at that point we'll uh, you know we'll spend some extra time on this thing but it sounds good it runs good everything seems to be working properly I'm willing to bet that valve uh, the variable valve timing solenoid just got stuck due to um, you know, due to sludge drop oil, low oil level, or just the oil quality. But uh, as it checks out up here, everything is working fine. And um, I'm willing to bet if you have that code, chances are you can get away with just cleaning it and changing oil as well. But thanks for watching this video. Hope it was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to hit the thumbs up button there and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching Flat Rate Mechanic.